in the grand tradition of Netflix bringing us some original, interesting, dark and depressing stories from Japan or Southern Korea. Some of the content that we've got there has been some of the best I've ever seen. And I'm just going to say up front, this is quite hard to watch in places. It's very dark in places and if you have ever experienced an earthquake or anything kind of similar to this kind of disastrous zone that this story takes place in then you may want to give it a miss other than that it's highly entertaining let's talk about the new japanese original series on netflix called the days blamed by some hailed as others by heroes those involved with fukushima daiichi face a deadly invisible threat and unprecedented nuclear disaster so I wanted to drop this review yesterday, but it's quite a long series at uh, eight episodes and they're about an hour a piece, depending on the episode. It also has you reading and absorbing, I guess, a storyline, a harrowing storyline. It's absorbing, but it is also harrowing to watch. You kind of need to give yourself the space to absorb what you have just seen and understand. Sometimes these series take a little bit of place for you to think about, yeah, that that was dark. And then also there's a lot of dialogue. It's heavy dialogue, but that's not to say it isn't exciting. Basically, we have these workers um, at the nuclear power plant in uh, Fukushima. There is a earthquake that sets off all these kind of settings that they need to establish. And you get to see behind the scenes of how many teams they have working at, I mean, in these stations and what it actually takes to run a nuclear power plant. And then there is a tsunami. And then so it takes things that have gone from bad to worse. There is no playbook for this kind of disaster because they've never had, would have thought this would have happened. So when you run out of power, what do you do? This isn't something they have to kind of write the play as they are going about it. So they check all their lists, they're going through everything and they realize how much trouble they are actually in. So we get the story of these people that are brave enough to stay and fix the nuclear, well, the nuclear plants from melting down to stop other people, well, millions of other people, hundreds of thousands of other people being hurt at the expense of their own lives. And you see the, the I guess, the heroicness of certain individuals that are willing to do anything to save other people, which is a different breed of person. There's a select few people that are actually have this in them that is willing to put their life down to save others. And that's something that this showcases very well. In those moments, it's very claustrophobic. There's a different sense of, you know, you see films where people are claustrophobic in really tight spaces. And then something outside is like this, this impending doom. But when it's radiation and you can't see it, but you know it's more dangerous. And by the second that they stay there, it gets worse and worse. That's something that this series showcases very well. We've had an HBO series as well uh, recently that showcased that very well. And here, it's more about the relationships that are ongoing, the stress that they encounter within themselves. All the shots showcase what they go through in a claustrophobic but very real way. Then you counter that with the politics that's going on at the same time between the governments already playing the blame game, uh, who is at fault, you know, kind of not thinking that Mother Nature is at fault, but blaming all those people that because they didn't have certain things in place, because they didn't have certain things in place, because they didn't think this would ever be a case that they need to plan for. They do know now. So you intertwine that into a story that we kind of focus on the team leader or a couple of team leaders. And you see how they have to handle their day to day, but in the worst day to day. Uh, and it's quite hard sore to watch in places because you see them have to kind of give up on their family at times or put other team members in danger knowing that they might not come out of it or knowing that they might not survive or see their family members again but you have to make decisions that are so tough and then have to face you know the family members of that and then have to face government where they're saying you've done the wrong thing so that it plays with your emotions it get it gets quite frustrating to watch especially the politics side of it where people are just trying to cover their own backs i mean it's always the way and it feels very accurate and real it is based obviously on a true story and so they've taken parts that make it feel like you're watching a documentary so it makes it feel like it's that much more real so when you're seeing the tsunami hit 
and the devastation it looks all incredibly real it places you in the moment the score the people screaming all of that is very real the acting i think is very good there are moments where I noticed a few extras that overreacted to a, situ a certain situation. That took me out of a little bit uh, out of the the story or the the atmosphere, the tone they were going for, just slightly. But there are there are only slight niggles. It is a bit long. It does take its time, really going into the politic na nature of it, of the discussions of the the, the mountains of paperwork in between our characters trying to overcome the mountain of issues that they they have to face in order to stop things from going awry or going much worse and you see how much that takes for these people especially when you get those claustrophobic shots you see how long it takes them to do things and every time they have to fix one issue there's another one that kind of pops up it reminded me a lot of apollo 13 when uh, tom hanks and his crew are in space and they fix one thing and something else goes wrong and there's not a lot of room for them to maneuver because they're in space it's that similar thing you know they're wearing these suits and you've got these geiger meters that start going off and you know it's like it's making a noise for a reason telling you to get out but if unless you move this dial or turn this thing everybody's gonna die so you have to keep staying there so the guy gamita means means nothing to you. you just know that your life is probably over there are moments that hit really hard like that i thought it was very good i do think it could have been shaved down to about six episodes instead of the eight i think it hangs on a bit too long and sometimes you lose a bit of the emotional impact that you want because they've taken so long to describe the story or show us some of the other families of what they're going for if they consolidated that a little bit more, I think it's fine. I don't know why this happens a lot. The, the, the normal Netflix amount of TV episodes for a series, a new one especially, is normally about six episodes. I don't know why they went the, the extra two for this one. It's not a big issue, but I did find myself going, Ugh, I wish this would get to the end. Um, and when you do, you're left with a kind of, oh, okay, so it's kind of still going on. The repercussions for, for that disastrous thing is still they're still kind of dealing with it which makes you it, it leaves you with like a thinking thing in your brain and you're like hmm what's you know what's to stop other moments like that i hope people have put safety mechanisms in place i know for example in south africa there are nuclear stations that really need to be looked at and whether they're safe i don't know but we've been having conversations with our family for years about that so it is it is a worry it is an amazing technology and the power we get out of it is incredible but the disasters that can come because of it, it is horrific. I'm gonna give this four Nicolas Cages out of five. <laughs> you got one. Congratulations. Really good series. Interesting, well acted, well put together. Just a bit long in the tooth and some of those extras sometimes overreacting can take you out of it. But most of all, I think you'll find this entertaining in a very dark way. Thanks so much for watching, but most of all, until next time, remember, the long Tuesday.